And then the other part, I forgot what, what the second part of that question was. From, uh, he oh, yeah. said, if yes, are there any best practices you tested? Local PR Pro. Yeah. Yeah, and in fact, um, as a kind of an add-on to Local PR Pro, which we made it public, so it's available, and that's why I was pulling up on YouTube. It's available publicly on our channel. Uh, if you just go search for YouTube press release SEO or press release silo stacking or whatever, you'll see it comes up or you can go directly to our channel. So YouTube, youtube.com slash semantic mastery and use the channel search feature and just type in press release SEO. And you'll see this is the video uh, we did about 11 months ago. Um, it's an hour long. It's a webinar, an update webinar that we had did for our Marco and I did for MGYB. But again, it's just publicly available it's where we talked specifically about how the press release stacking kind of changed slightly it evolved right which is now we we silo press releases the same way that we would silo um blog posts or gmb posts or all of the above right so go check that out it's an hour long but it, it tells very specifically the strategy on how to silo press releases and then just to stack them and that's where the magic happens that's what marco was just talking about you get four or five press releases into it and you'll start to see significant movement and we've proven that over and over and over again so that's what I recommend. And I'll talk a little bit more about that strategy when I get to the question uh, that I saw Nathan post earlier. Um, we'll, we'll get to that here in a few minutes, okay? It was a good question, though. 